today I'm doing the overnight BV challenge. Set off from your home with your BV bag, with your backpack, and you go out to camp somewhere local to where you live. You never know what you're going to find, do you? since my first YouTube video and this is where I came in my first video it's not a bad place to camp in actual fact but the reason I don't really want to camp here is because it's a possibility that it could attract certain elements in the evening for tonight I think I'm gonna go out and try and find somewhere just a little bit more stealthy promising now around here in the bushes somewhere so not much wind here it's protected by I think by the trees it's lovely and flat there's no doubt our cows in here though there's always something isn't there when you're looking for a spot gonna be a little bit wise about it don't worry about me it's a real wilderness out here, this part of Kent. It's like some industrial quarries. It's a bit of a wasteland, some old ships that get dumped. I think I found a space. So let me just show you. It's sheltered. I've got trees around me. No one can really see me. I just checked there's no snakes in there. But it's flat. So get the tarp out. I'm trying to get organized. As the sun starts to go down in the sky, hopefully you can see that beautiful huge sun through the clouds and the birds flying over. It's a lovely quiet spot. And then I've put up the tarp like this, just like it was in the garden, pretty much. So that should provide a little bit of extra shelter from any wind or possible rain. Inside I'll peg these corners down and then once I get the bivy bag in there, they're going to be snug as a bug in a rug. And I've just got to go up the bank to see the view. And on this side, I didn't show you before, I don't think, I've got a little stream, more fields. And actually, there's nobody around here for miles, actually. Probably two or three miles is the nearest person. It's like a wilderness. It's a perfect place for a quiet, bivy camp. But it's a little bit different to the garden camp. This is the real thing. So I've tied the trekking pole people worry about the trekking pole falling down in the night well mine's not going to fall down look I've got one two three four guy ropes it's not going anywhere tonight I don't think there you go all my things inside to stay dry I've got my rucksack I've got my Rob Ascent Bivy I've got my sleeping pad and I've got my insulation underneath which I'm hoping will be sufficient it's going to go to probably six degrees tonight so it's going to be a little bit chilly later it's so good to be out again my first real camp since October since the southwest coast path what a night that was so many memories I tell you these day trip adventures I don't know there's been so many it's just it's been so, such an experience. I mean, every one is a different experience. 
and uh, I try and do one a week and when I have a holiday I can sometimes do when I, when I have time off work and sometimes do more so really it's just such an adventure living like this doing these different adventures and then doing the films doing the videos makes it all the, all the more special to be able to share to share experiences and also to share ideas to give each other ideas and just coming out doing the overnight bivy brilliant so flexible so nice so I'm going to celebrate with my usual my brew dog nanny state now I'm set up it's going a bit cooler now but I'm going to enjoy this just relax here and uh, again no alcohol no compromise um, and then I'm going to cook my food I'm just going to chill out I mean it, it, it gets dark about 7.30 now so it's still quite a relatively long night but you know I've got my I've got some things to read on my phone I've got my I've got a light um, what not to like really here very peaceful I'm not going to get disturbed here I don't think thanks so much for watching my videos and thanks for subscribing thanks for all the subscribers you have been some of you have been with me for a year now this is actually one year for my channel so celebrating one year um, been such an adventure such I've had so much fun doing this and so much fun sharing with you and all the comments really appreciate it I really appreciate you watching I really like watching your channels too so here's to another another year 2021 may this be a really adventurous year I don't know we should shouldn't say stay safe um, yes we want to live a long healthy life but I believe we should live dangerously that doesn't mean say you take stupid risks but if you don't live dangerously sometimes your life is no longer life it's no longer worth living if you're too scared of dying life is not worth living so that's really the spirit of day tripper we need to take risks we need to live by faith not by sight we need to trust God and he will take care of us he will protect us so all the best and cheers for a fantastic 2021 wherever you are I really do hope you are healthy and uh, have a really blessed year this year so cheers always tastes so nice after you've hiked so many miles so you can see it's going really dark now the lights have come on there it's brilliant this time of year isn't it now it's eight o'clock and we've still got a bit of light it reminds me of my first wild camp which was not far from here um, one year ago these bird noises rice with sausages I can't remember what they're called this is Asda's rice pillow rice very cheap and effective quick camping meal so I made it through the night ah oh, it's lovely waking up outdoors so good to be out again so I'm ready to start packing away now and heading back I'm gonna hike back it's about five miles actually back to uh, where I started so I'm just gonna head back that direction I think and get back nice and early so I've survived the overnight bivy challenge you must try this just go out from your house and walk out into the countryside and find somewhere to put up your bivy and stay the night and then walk back in the morning this idea came from the book called Micro Adventure by Alistair Humphreys. Well recommended. Um, I'll put the link below this video. Check it out. Got some great ideas for just quick adventures. Short mini escapes, mini adventures that you can do 
even on a weeknight um, so and uh, day tripper is about getting out once a week so it fits in pretty well with what I'm doing on this channel so I'm going to use some more ideas from there and hopefully it'll give me some it's given me some more ideas already on what I'm going to do on on the channel this year so lots more in store You'd never know I've been there, would you? Maybe it looks like a cow has been here or a horse. Not a trace. So I'm back in town after a really good night, the overnight bivvy challenge, why don't you try this too? Maybe try going out five miles in a new direction from where you live, staying in the bivvy, finding somewhere safe obviously, spending a night and then walking back in the morning. Five miles is a good distance isn't it, gets you fit. It's a good practice with your kit as well, you get to try out your kit in a mini adventure or micro adventure. Even if it doesn't work out, you can just walk five miles home again. So you can't lose great practice. I bet you'll find places you never knew about in your local area. I really appreciate you watching. Please press like if you did like it. That would be great. And thanks so much again for being on this journey. I look forward to seeing you on the next Day Tripper adventure very soon. Bye for now.